Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. It is me, Excels, and in today's video, I am going to be doing something that I have been wanting to do for a while, which is unbox and tell you guys about a designer fragrance that I ordered about 10 days ago that I'm super excited for. This designer fragrance is going to be for the wintertime. Um, you guys might know it. It is by Famous House of Victor and Rolf, and it's one of their best fragrances, in my opinion. Spice Bomb Stream, very well known, in my opinion, and obviously it is my winter fragrance. Before I get into this video, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to go down below, drop a like, and subscribe if you guys want to see more fragrance quality content just like this now some of you guys might be asking why i didn't get like another winter fragrance like stronger with you intensely or la male le parfum or even la male elixir and the real reason for this is because for the jump out gotcha fragrances a lot of people in my age range have la male le parfum and la male elixir so i wouldn't really defer from anybody in terms of winter fragrances and i already know somebody who has stronger with you intensely as one of my friends so i just wanted to mix things up a little bit and i got another great winter fragrance because there are plenty of options and i went with spice bomb stream because i think that is also a really great fragrance so without all this yapping i just want to go ahead and unbox this fragrance i'm really excited and really hyped up for it so let's get it out now as you guys can see it's in a pack of two now this is the next fragrance i'm gonna be reviewing in the next video i'm literally just gonna be filming it right after this video but it probably won't come up as shortly as this one because i'm gonna post this one first but here is the box right here i did order the 50 ml so it's 1.7 fluid ounces just because you know it's a winter fragrance it's heavily for the winter so i probably wasn't gonna wear it too much in the summer um maybe like summer nights but really this is just for the winter and stuff so I wasn't really trying to go for a whole full bottle of this stuff, even though it is a great fragrance by all means. So yes, I will be opening that second fragrance in the next video. And I did buy these fragrances from the House of Drama Shop. I think I got this one for around 70 bucks. So yeah, here is the box once more. I'll let you guys see it. This is the box. Um, you know, just I think a normal cologne bottle box, nothing too special in my opinion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it right here. Guys, I already smell it. Oh. Now, if you guys didn't know, this sorta of smells like Parfums de Marly Herod, which is my favorite Parfums de Marly. Probably not anymore because of this, but it does smell similar to Parfums de Marly Herod because I love that vanilla tobacco. Oh my gosh, here it is. Okay, so it is hot because it was sitting in my mailbox and I had school today. Look at this, it's like a little grenade. But going back to all that other stuff about Herod, yeah, it is my favorite PDM and this does smell similar to it. It just has better performance and this is actually hot, oh my gosh. So here is the bottle, if you guys can't see it. It is a nice, nice looking bottle. I love this bottle um, and obviously it has the polling thing. I do like the caps better, but this isn't, you know, a bad way to stop from the atomizer just triggering when you don't want it to. But yeah, I really do like the grenade style. I think it's a really cool, unique thing that they had done because they named it Spice Bomb, you know. It's just a really impressive and creative technique. Now let's go ahead and break down of what this fragrance actually smells like. It has a top accord of vanilla, tobacco, and sweetness. I can already smell it off the cap, and it reminds me of a mix of like a vanillic fragrance with just a cinnamony spicy tobacco -ness. that's the best way i can describe it almost like at christmas christmas day this is what you want to smell like just a nice cinnamony vanilla sweetness very sweet fragrance but also very strong because just very strong and then also it has some smaller chords you know that powderiness i get everything from it that masculinity the sweetness the spiciness the vanilla-ness and the notes in this according to fragrance again it says it has an explosive composition which highlights aromatic lavender in a unique way thanks to hot and tart spices. Lavender is mixed with caraway and black pepper, leaving a trail of hotness above masculine shades of tobacco and subtle, comfortable vanilla. So obviously it has the notes of vanilla, tobacco, cinnamon, Cuban, a little bit of that bourbon whiskey, and saffron. On fragrance again, this has a total of 4.52 stars out of five. Let's go ahead and spray this. That was a pretty fairly good atomizer. Off the bat, I'm getting all of that sweetness, all of that spices. I think in the dry down of this fragrance, if I remember correctly, when I tested it, more of that vanilla, subtle vanilla comes out and it calms down. So far, it's been really strong on the opening and it just smells incredible. I love the smell of Parfums de Marley Hair. So this is a great, great alternative to something cheaper and even stronger because Parfums de Marley Herod is known for not having that good of performance. I did hear that on some batches of Spice Bomb Extreme, the performance wasn't as consistent or as strong as the original batches, which is probably true, but this 
already smells like a strong fragrance and I could already smell it off the cap, which obviously means that it's gotta be somewhat strong, but I am just loving this. This is fairly a very like closed winter fragrance, so I won't seeing myself where it blows to now just because it, we're not really in the winter groove yet. I'm just getting, you know, prepared for winter, if that makes sense. This is a great, great sweet fragrance. But yeah, Spice Bomb Extreme. If you guys wanna check this out, I do not have a code yet. Drum a shop, maybe you can sponsor me. But check out Victor and Ralph's Spice Bomb Extreme, 50 ml for only about 70 bucks. Smells incredible. The bottle looks incredible. And from what I know, has incredible performance. If you guys wanna know what the longevity and projection of this fragrance is according to my opinion and what this batch is, go down to the description of the video, which is where I will update you guys because I am on a tight schedule and I cannot record me checking back in like an hour. But I will tell you guys in the description of this video how the performance was on my skin of this fragrance. And uh, yeah, you guys in the next one. Peace.